the whole situation is, is, is a terrible, terrible situation, obviously. And, you know, everyone who's been, who bodybuilds out there and uses anabolics, and I know most, for, for the people watching the show, it's probably a very large percentage of you. This could have happened to any one of you. So if anyone to judge these, these people, it, it's despicable, really, okay? Because everyone has done something they shouldn't do, and anyone who uses gear is, is doing something illegal. Now, you got to remember, in Canada, possession of gear is not a big deal. They don't care. Pretty much, actually, supplements is worse than gear there. But having said that, okay, if there was a package mailed by them to themselves from Canada to the U.S., it was a, it was a, it was a very dumb move, obviously, because anytime you you mail something internationally, okay, it goes through customs. That adds another level of where something could be exposed or searched for or opened. When you mail something within the United States, they, they don't open packages routinely because they can't, they don't have enough time. It, it's domestic, okay? So there's, there's a lot, much lower level of, uh, of fear. Unless someone ratted you out or said, hey, this guy's expecting some kind of drug package. No one's opening it up. But that it was not, if, if they did do it, and once again, I don't know. I, you know. I'm just seeing what's being reported. If they did do it, it was a, it was a poor decision on their part to do that. And luckily, it's probably a, a possession charge because... You know, it looked like it was, according to whatever they listed in this article that I looked at, it looked like it was a small amount of stuff um, that was probably personal use. Um, obviously, they're staying in the United States right now, and they probably needed some stuff. It, it, was, not a, it was not a smart decision. Now, uh, once again, to ask how often do they open packages, I don't know. But when you send things internationally, you're, you're, you're basically rolling the dice. That's why when I see people that order stuff from Europe or, or China, I'm like, you're crazy. I'm like, because... It's going through customs, okay? Customs x-rays almost everything. Sometimes, you know, the thing, there's so many packages coming and they can't open everything, obviously, but, you know, eventually it's a numbers game. If you keep doing it, you're going to get caught, you know, and uh, it's unfortunate, you know. But, you know, when I got in trouble, you know, um, my little growth hormone problem, no one ever opened the package because it was domestically sent, but there was tracking, you know, f to show that, oh, I received a package on this date, so it's pro according to whoever set me up, it's reasonable to believe that the package was, you know, was open, had whatever the guy said it had in it. So it's different, but they never open the package. Once you, once a package gets opened and, it's, and they do a controlled delivery, which is what they did, it seems in this, in this situation, they had opened it in customs, they realized there were drugs in there, they went and delivered it anyway to see if someone would accept it. Because if they hadn't accepted it, obviously, then there would, there would have been, you know, nothing they could do about it. And then, obviously, I guess they showed fingerprints according to the article, uh, Melissa's fingerprints. So I'm assuming she's going to have to answer for something like that and probably be some kind of a possession charge. I don't, I don't know. The, the problem is I don't know what the ramifications are, or what the final you know, verdict would be. Because if you do anything illegal, it's very hard to get from Canada to the United States if you have some kind of a, uh, any kind of a felony or something like that on your record. So hopefully they get a good lawyer and they can uh, get, get out of the situation. Of course, the timing sucks because it's right before the Olympia and the Arnold. Uh, no one wants to go through that, and uh, you know I, I send my prayers and really after that because it, it it it's just it's an annoyance. It's something that no one has to go through, want to ever have to go through, and it sucks that you know they're trying to just be athletes in their sport, and then you know and then they're being you know and then they have to worry about legal ramifications over just trying to do what they love. And so I, I'm sorry to hear the story, and you know I, I'm sorry to see a lot of the the bottom feeders out there who are like reveling in this and making you know headlines out of this and trying to make like a big deal out of it it really we should all be just kind of trying to downplay it because it because it could have happened to anyone out there